Hello, good evening. Tonight is the snap meeting. Hopefully it will go a lot better than last time because I know where it is. It didn't get changed at the last bloody minute. So it's the Phoenix Group building. So we're just going to go in, observe, see what it's all about. See what it is I do. See how good they are. There we go. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh yeah. It's started already, is it? Is it started already? Oh yeah. I am recording. It's gonna be on you. That's fine. Alright. Okay, am I late then, or is this? No, no, I do apologise if I am, everybody. It's going to be Claire's recording, it's going to be on me. If you want to have a private chat, not being videoed, then let us know. Yeah. We'll always yeah. split into it. When I do the Snap meeting, Laura can speak to you separately, maybe for your little office if you need to be today. I'm seeing if Claire's recording, people don't want to talk to us in, in a kind of public setting. Yeah, of course, yeah, that's so fine. You can always do that. Yeah. Okay, so for um, everyone who I haven't met before, I'm Emma, I'm the Beef Manager at La Portion. You've got myself and Alex Barnes, we are your two community officers. Um, we um, are the ones that have listened to what you say and try and put that into practice, I suppose. But like I say, there is only two of us. We have um, all the parishes. Oh, my oh hi, Paulie. <laughs> Um, we have all the parishes from Trimingham through to Cart Gap, uh, down to Worcester, um, Dillham, and kind of meeting up that way, Worcester, and up towards Bardersfield. Um, so we have quite a large area in the Horsham, obviously being the centre of it. Um, I have had a quick sweep through the crimes from our last snap meeting to uh, period to this snap meeting period. And um, so our previous snap meeting was in May and before that in February. So the time from February to May, we had 1,432 um, investigations recorded and since May to now we've had 994. So we're a little bit down on, on our investigations, but that will include everything um, as far as safeguarding investigations, crimes of all sorts. So if anyone wants to pick my brains on any of those, just let me know and we'll probably do that afterwards as well. Um, <laughs> who would like to, in this public bit, talk first about the issues they're experiencing, facing? Can I just say something mm -hmm. before we start? Yeah. <clears throat> Which is, um, I mean, we've all seen the appalling scenes around the country, and the tuggery that's been going on, and it's evident to everybody that the police are on the front line of all mm -hmm. this, the firing line. Yeah. So I think... I hope people join me in expressing our support for the police and our sympathy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <clears throat> our sympathy for any of your colleagues who yeah. got hurt. And I think yeah. you are a member. Oh, thank so. you, Richard. I appreciate that. Mm. Thank you. But we're not having any of that rubbish around here. So <laughs> it's not allowed. So just so you're aware, we have got vans loaded up, ready to go on standby um, as a county resource, should they be called upon. Um, and I think that will be for the foreseeable. So they will be kitted up, ready to go, and windowed, ready to go, should they be called upon by another county. They haven't as yet, but yeah, I think after the, the issues we faced, I don't know whether... They're they talking about bringing in the military, aren't they, to support <laughs> Do you know, I've never had so many things. <laughs> I was going to say, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know what I think. Have you cried them all? <laughs> so who would like to go um, with um, issues there? Come on, Wendy. Okay, always first. <laughs> so um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Wendy Fredericks. I'm Deputy Leader of North Norfolk District Council, responsibilities for housing and people services. I'm also a ward member for Lumsley. <sighs> So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. So, the, the issues we're facing in Mumsley at the moment are drug related. Yeah. So, we have um, young people trying to sell drugs to younger people, primarily mm -hmm. in Gold Park. Yeah. I know this has been reported. I'd just like some assurance around that um, on what the progress is and what, what, what sort of steps can we take. 
So there is um, an investigation ongoing, which is still live at the moment, which is sat with our district crime unit. I know numerous people, I know two people were arrested and other numerous people have been um, spoken to voluntarily at the police station under caution. Um, there is still a bit of an intel build around who is supplying the drugs, where they're coming from, um, and that is sat with our intel department at the moment. We always welcome any intelligence about who might be responsible, times, days, locations, anything that we can then put into that package um, to try and deal with it proactively. Um, I know they have asked for um, extra patrols in the area. Unfortunately, I'm sure as many of you are, because of the what is happening at the moment, actually my job for the next seven days has been disbanded. So proactively, there are no proactive teams for the next seven days. So I don't know how that will impact on the day-to-day -day running, but essentially we are just, we've hit the level with what we can cope with, and therefore we are just dealing with jobs. So yeah, when I can be there, I will be there, but it's just, uh, yeah, if we've got the, the manpower, then they will be down there. Um, but it's just about, yeah, picking up that, that intel build and trying to run with it. And just, yeah, it's Sorry, it's not more positive at the moment. <coughs> well, going back to the previous subject, um, I've been in meetings where the largest growing terrorist organisations are the far right ones that think those are our largest terrorist organisations and they are growing within the country. So any any of this on social media, and if you see any of that, just don't respond to it. It's best not to fuel it. I've been trying to do it through the press as well, um, because it isn't. It, it, it's just hatred and it shouldn't be allowed. Mm. So yeah, so again, it will be just yeah, when we can be there and you know proactively do some bits, we will. But it's just finding the the time and the manpower to physically get down there. And then it'd be good um, to get a neighbourhood team for us councillors and the um, parish councillors. <laughs> I mean, that the, 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 us? Oh, I mean, you, you you can do. I suppose the, the, the issue would be safeguarding yourselves and how do you how do you manage that safeguarding mm. risk if you're putting yourself out there? You know, when I'm down there, I've got I'm fully kitted up and I've got support should I need it. it whether you do want to just proactively be down there and it, not approach people, but evidence gathering of any kind is helpful to be aware of you know, once then be fearful of reprisals if people are noticing you you know copying them or you know in their behaviors i know you've got cctv down there if there's any scope for any more cctv around the village again that helps us i was speaking to denise about trying to, to get that from her and it, the cctv you've got is really good but it's very much focused on that middle part of the village whether that could be you know pushed out so when we have got that information then we can and check back on the CCTV and see who's doing what. So anything like that, that would be really, really good. Um, I think we spoke about something earlier, we're trying to arrange a village meeting as well. Mm -hmm. And again, that will be as and when, probably after the summer now, I would have thought, but or towards the end of the summer when that sort of peak demand has, has calmed down. Thank you very much. Yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is next? Can I mention something that I believe might have been mentioned before? Yeah. And that's about the speeding up and down, um, particularly Moon Road and Paisborough Road. Yeah, I would agree with that too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the other part of the traffic bit is yeah. about the cut through traffic coming through here during the day, because mm -hmm. it's remained a cut through even though it's meant to be for disabled search and speakers only. Yeah. Um, and people just really tend to ignore that and just cut yeah. through. So, yeah. so to address the first part, yeah, so that we have, um, again, when we have got the manpower, we've had a couple of special constables coming in and they have been focusing on speed checks on New Road and Haysborough Road. They have done um, a session every week for me the last couple of weeks. They haven't caught anyone on New Road, um, but they have been there on the afternoon. So I, 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 I'm not going to, no, you know, I, I want them to carry yeah. on just because they haven't yeah. caught anyone doesn't mean, it, you know. If they're visible, people will slow down, and that's the problem. If you if you're sat in the street, it's, really it's not been late at night. It's been up to it's about eight o'clock. Yeah, so it's getting so yeah. much worse. Now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I was sat there last night for half an hour. There was some noise, but there was no speeding. No, um, no uh, <coughs> and there was some lads on the car park yeah, last night. Quiet. But again, yeah, at, at the point yeah. I was there, they weren't causing any issue. And we did have a discussion about finding a more suitable meeting space for them. 
um, somebody's going to get killed over there mm -hmm. because the, yeah. the lads are lining up in the bus bays, yeah. revving up and then setting off together and yeah. all coming out at once and yeah. somebody's going to get killed. Ooh. And this is where if I'm not on duty, I need you to be calling in at the time well, because, I, I, like I say, I think think we haven't got any resources yeah. to even cover jobs at the moment. Yeah. We're not going to have any resources to be no. proactive in sitting down. No, but because them. all in that development where I live, you know, yeah. we're all widows and yeah. we're not going to go out and get people no, no, to no. see us because, no. you know, and, yeah, and I can't yeah. see properly with the yeah. trees in at the moment. Oh, sorry, go on. No, it's okay. So, for everyone who doesn't know, I'm going to introduce Wendy. Sorry, I'm putting you in the spotlight. It's Wendy <laughs> is our <laughs> new town clerk. Right. Um, so, Wendy will be excited about this because we recently um, saw Penfold and I, sorry, I'm the county council for North Walsham East and District for the west of the town. So, Sol Penfold and I, actually, out of our members' budget, paid for the Sun 2, um, which will be called Speedy. So, Whilst this is Wendy's first meeting, it might be beneficial <laughs> to make a note of this when the boys move the um, Sun 2 around, then it will help inform our police force of when's the best time. So they're both, the, the one that's the one is, is coming. You got something? What is that, a mobile? No, it's the, the camera that flashes at you, but they, it's yes. good to record oh, the data yeah. so we can then we, oh, we right, want, yeah, they will then give us that data. At the moment, because of the issues we had down by the school, um, they're both down by the school each way, aren't they? Yeah. There's one down on Brickland, but they so they have to be sat up um, for a certain amount of time so we can get that data. There's no point putting them out for a week because we're not then going to get so that overall data. Speeds, so, cetera, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so when they then, so when they're going to move yeah. around, they're on Premier Road and they've just been on Premier Road. So well, after they've done their four weeks, yes, yeah, after they've done their four weeks, well, not just five, but then it'll flash on the speed that you'll do. So that will then. Um, can I come back to you just to answer the, the town bit? Yeah. So oh, this is a really, really difficult point. So there was a traffic regulation put in order when um, the house works were being done. Mm -hmm. We did have a meeting, um, myself and Paul Wynn, when he was here, about the traffic regulation order and how that would affect us, how physically we can police that. Um, it's very, very difficult. I came into town the other day, I'm sure Lucy would tell you, and there was, because they put a diversion through the middle of town and no you one were, was paying attention to the signs. I stopped <laughs> in excess of 50 cars. I was going to say, you must have done 20 more weeks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. but I can't physically be here in the middle all the time. Wendy and I have discussed ANPR cameras and we're going to look into the feasibility of that, but again, that would be a difficult thing to put in place. We've talked about increased signage. Um, unless unless someone is physically stood there, it's really, really difficult, and I cannot split myself. It's a pity when they designed it, they didn't have the disabled traffic coming down that way yeah. and out the bottom, and then it wouldn't be a cut through to avoid going round to get yeah. up the other side yeah. of the road. I'm going to email. So Justin and May does. He's like the head of well, our point of contact in highways. Mm -hmm. So we discussed that earlier today about getting in contact with him and just seeing what we can do to work together. Whether he needs to come down. Um, um, I think Pauline, we've had a meeting with him before in Walcott, haven't we? We've had several. Yeah, <laughs> so about getting him down there to see the, the issues that we're facing. Um, I only deal with moving traffic offences, so I can't, if I come down and they're already parked in there, there's not anything I can do. Um, and apart from standing at the bottom, questioning each person as to whether they are loading or unloading, or they've got a blue badge, which would just take up so much time. Um, it's it's just a really, really difficult one, so I think we, we need a little bit more steer from highways about what they can do to to help the situation either increase the signage or look to amend the TRO in some way. Um, and they are looking at the signage. Yeah. Well, again, we saw, we talked about this, like the pop up um, bollards. Whether you would have, a, if you had a disabled badge, you would have a code to use the pop up bollard. But again, I don't, who's that's nothing to do with me. I have no sway with my ways. I can only feed back to them, and it's whose budget does it come out of, and who you know who's going to implement that. So that's the yeah, that is that's the difficulty. Yeah. You need to look into. So I do give them the deaf do you? <laughs> yeah. your point about the town as well? Is that, yeah. No, yeah. no, my no, point is related to what that lady yeah. said. The speeding. Um, well, the lady said um, about someone's going to die. I live on that corner, and quite honestly, I fear for my life yeah. with cars coming around that yeah. corner yeah. when I'm exiting in the car. Yeah. 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 And I know we did we did talk probably last year about speed humps, didn't we? Or speed, high street, yeah, on no, the, on the new road, road. On but because you've got the fire station there and bits and pieces, yeah. it's very it's difficult a main to, road, isn't it? Yeah, um, again, all these things, these factors sort of work against us a little bit. We, we try and be proactive, but we can't be there 24 hours a day. Um, they won't put speed cameras up. Um, I have actually discussed setting up a 
community yeah. speak much. Yes. I think we, we talked about that before, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, because I've got experience in West yeah. Norfolk of, of helping. Um, and so we, if people have a complaint yeah. about it... Yeah. And yeah. considering the amount of people here today, if, if a lot of it is about speed watch. We need a minimum of six people to set up a community speed watch and we would go out um, in twos or threes. Um, we are, you know, if anyone wants any information about that, please talk to me afterwards. I think my neighbour did inquire about it, I'm not so sure if she... At the moment, it's been completely disbanded in the okay. because they didn't have enough support. Oh, um, so definitely so do it. They, definitely. Yeah. Well, so they would provide you with the training and the yeah. equipment. Um, it's just the time that you would have to, to do that and kind of arrange between yourselves <laughs> when you... I suppose you could email me and I can keep a register yeah. and then if I've because I've got all the cameras. So we can yeah. if I've got the cameras and if you let me know the times, then we can put the cameras. Do, you know, yeah. Yeah. Times, yeah. 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 So like last night, yeah, so you texted me the night before I was not there last night, but unfortunately time, yeah. there was then another job which was a, a blue light job which pulled me away from doing just, that yeah. and it's yeah. just yeah, it's I trying think to people just need to take the reg numbers and just yeah. send them into you that So we have um I don't know if Wendy can shed any light on this in your, in your district capacity. We're the only um, part or the only district of Norfolk that doesn't have a public space protection order. So um, our, the NNDC's one lapsed, I want to say, over a year ago and hasn't been. It's sat with NNDC to stop car meets um, and ASB yeah. with vehicles. Because Every other really district in the county. And technically, you shouldn't stop on a car park unless you're using it as a parking space. Yeah. 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 But every other district in the county has one of these public space protection orders. We're the only district that doesn't. We have raised this with districts, and we are waiting to hear back from M&E about That's fine. Laura, can you make a note to email me with that, please? And I'll get that chased up. James Ashley was looking at this, but um, I don't know where we got to, yeah. so don't worry. Just and that would be for the whole district. So you've got for us, North Norfolk stretches from Fakenham um, all the way through to Pot yeah. Iron. So that it's not just us; it's Cromer as well, who are having similar issues. Yeah. Um, Sharing and um, all the other market towns. Sorry, so. being relatively new to the town, only a year. I don't know what the procedures have been before. So when you say report to Wendy. No, to to yeah, so mm. I haven't got any cards with me tonight, unfortunately. I've got some on order, some business cards. Um, if you look yes. up the Horsham Safe Neighbourhood team, or our details should be um, on the Facebook page, um, just drop me either an email, my uh, work mobile number is on there, I always yeah. have my work mobile I with me. So, yeah, just drop me a text, drop me an email, whatever's easy for you, bring <laughs> and leave a voicemail. Um, it's just trying to big up, build up a bigger picture. We can then go and visit those people that are you know, repeatedly causing us issues. Um, and we can target those vehicles, giving them section 59s. Um, and certainly I'm so, going to report um, anti-social behaviour, yeah. because I know the numbers on that are quite low in comparison. So, yeah. you know, so not every and so not if you report vehicles through to me, that's not going to generate an investigation for antisocial yeah, behaviour every enough. single time. But so Laura is our antisocial behaviour coordinator for um the North Walsham district as such. So what happens is we we work together, we I feed in who's causing the issues, and then Laura and her department, the operational partnership team, they then look at things like community protection notices and community protection warnings, if it was and stage one letters, which leads to what used to be as those but are now criminal behaviour orders um but laura then looks at all the information that i give her and then she then thinks what what else can we do here um, and we work in partnership with the other districts so yarmouth are quite hot on their vehicle nuisance and they will quite often give out community protection warnings and i last week gave out a community protection warning to one of the boy racers here but who's been causing issues That's in yarmouth fair, yeah. so we all you know just if one, when we have that information when i put it on the system it's not just for here. My colleagues in Yarmouth, my colleagues in Norwich can then see, oh, all these races are coming up. Where else are they causing issues? And it's just about, like I said, with the intelligence, building up that bigger picture of the issues that they're causing. Good point, Stan. So, yeah. wants to speak about speed watch. We've set one up in Trunch. Quite happy to speak afterwards and tell them how we've done. Yeah. I think Paul's Richard Miles on the chair, Trunch Borough Council. <coughs> and uh, quite happy to discuss it and give you some feedback on who's in the bus. Yeah. Anyone else about the new roads? Well, yeah, there's a Sorry, but you've had your hand up the Fed was coming through the curve. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. think they spent a lot of money on that with most money. They should have planned it a lot better mm -hmm. before they actually put it in. And like I said, we had that meeting beforehand, but unfortunately, my opinions were not. No. This and Paul Wynn's opinions were not. 
Yeah, I think ultimately because it's a high waste thing, although they will ask for our opinion, they don't necessarily have to take it on board and they will do what they want essentially. Well, they spend all that money and help it improve anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not going to cost the road or. No one's no. opinion counted for anything. No. No one's opinion accounted for anything, really. I, and I don't know whether that would be now, I don't know whether it would come to district or go, go straight to highways. Um, I mean, I would always feed that back to Justin the Mayor if we can get some kind of meeting, yeah. like a site meeting. I just think that's um, a lot of money spent and hasn't made any improvements, yeah. made yeah. it worse. Yeah, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just flashing. Not finished. Okay. Um, just to add in, we, we did the bee bridge down the Haysborough Road. Mm -hmm. Issue. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the speed at which the traffic goes through is most it's, it's midnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm about. Getting number plates to you has been pretty tricky. Yeah. Um, but the, it's quite concerning how many youngsters gather there of an evening and the speed at which they're going, which is yeah. one, it's, a, it's a disruption to our lives, but it's yeah. much more worrying that they're going to end up in a tree. Or yeah, and them. and you know, I'm, I'm sure you're all aware. You saw in the news that we did have a fatality just mm -hmm. outside of Millpool Show. I'm not saying that was speed related, but you would have thought that might have sent some shockwaves through that mm -hmm. community or you know that that age group. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, unfortunately, I don't I don't think yeah, it has, yeah. and I don't know whether we we have talked about going into schools a bit earlier and trying to reach you know the kind of year tens and elevens who will be driving in the next couple of years to try and get them a bit earlier and try and warn them of the risks. Um, but yeah, it's just yeah, trying to be there when we can. I am aware of Ebridge, and we have, I have been down there on late shifts to try and. Unfortunately, sometimes when I'm on duty, I'll go down there and they're never there, and they'll be somewhere else. And then, or some nights there, there's no none of them around, and you just don't know they might have gone up to Norwich for the night, or they've gone to McDonald's in Crover and they're causing carnage they there. They seem to shift around. Yeah, we get, it, we get it for several weeks yeah. really badly, and then it quietens down. And when you and, 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 and they're not unreasonable young people. No. When you speak to them, it, they feel that they've got nowhere to go. Wherever they go, they're moved on from. Um, I know there was a thought of a couple of years ago trying to find a suitable space, and it's just. Where is that suitable space where they're not causing They'd be, wouldn't any be a problem issues. if they weren't razzing around the car park no, yeah. and when they leave yeah. and zooming off with them. Yeah. And a lot of them have modified exhaust yeah. things, so yeah. they make a racket. So um, nice. traffic have been down here um, a couple of times. Again, they are stretched to capacity. Um, they will, their day-to-day -day job is the main route, so the A47, the A11, the NVR, they will routinely sit on those roads waiting for big things to happen. Um, trying to get them out here is really difficult. They did come out um, a couple of weeks ago and did have a really successful job with a boy racer who had a modified exhaust, which had flames coming out the back. That vehicle was, <laughs> uh, that vehicle was, was seized. Um, um, and he is awaiting prosecution for those um, offences. So like to the say, extent that we can get number plates, we'll do that. Yeah, if you can get number plates, I and mean, if you can just give me times and days, mm -hmm. uh, that in, in itself, if it's caused you a disturbance, is enough for me to give that first warning, that section 59 warning, to say that your vehicle has been causing nuisance to the public. That's all I need for that first level of warning. The, the higher up we go, obviously, the more evidence I'm going to need. But it's, if I can get that warning, that sits on that car for 12 months. If I'm then driving around and I see that car being driven erratically, stupid, you know, stupidly, in any way, I can then seize that car. And whilst they're not going to get any points, there's a financial implication for the seizure, which is <coughs> alone, like £200 just for the seizure. And then they have to drive up to Norwich to go and get it back from a, you know, from the company. So it, it's a, it at least gives us a little bit of kind of leverage with them. Like you know, you, you need to abide by the rules here. Mm -hmm. I think we we see, we see it every year. It's not these are not the same boy races of three years ago. You'll get it for mm -hmm. a year. They'll grow up a little bit. They'll get girlfriends. They'll go to Norwich. They'll do whatever mm -hmm. they're going to do. And then you'll get that next that next lot. And then they'll push. The boundaries a little bit and they'll all do it and they all because they've learned from the, the gen not generation before but the, yeah. the people above them they'll go to the same places they'll go they were going up to mkm and we thought for a little while that was a really ideal place for them to go mkm were on board with them sitting up there um but then they started littering and they mm -hmm. then kind of shot themselves in the foot so mkm started putting ton bags out the front mm -hmm. so they couldn't even drive onto the car park mm -hmm. so it's just trying to get them to be responsible and understand from everyone else's point of view um, but also try and you know appease all of you and try and stop them doing what they're doing. So yeah. Yeah. on a Sunday afternoon, the parking, the car park in the um, by the community centre in a row, mm -hmm. and then down here, and they've all got the windows open and the music playing. Yeah. And as as I walk past, the dogs are going, "Are you going to take a picture of us, then, Missus?" <laughs> so 
Because I live on the other end of the same road, yeah. and I have a direct view through to the library, okay. yeah. and I can see that area you're mentioning, mm -hmm. even if the trees with the, the uh, trees with lit leaves on, I can still see it. Yeah. I miss it. There are a number of people who I would say are regulars who park in that area between the hours of 11.30 and up to 2 o'clock in the night. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We've had some really bad um, times. Yeah, on. but they're not just parking on the. Well, when, when I yeah, say yeah. Yeah. you're not hundred percent certain, but you think there's something. I think going there's more. On. There's been transit in and out in twenty and ten minute scraps by the same vehicles. It looks like delivery to me. Mm -hmm. I live in Cornwall in Falmouth, mm -hmm. and I was very aware of delivery. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I would. Yeah, yeah. 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 Going on. because it tends to be um, peak moments like um, Easter, uh, you know, sort of Good mm -hmm. Friday night, Easter Sunday, Saturday, that sort of thing. Uh, around holidays where people yeah. are sort of jollying it up. Yeah, they're, they're jollying it up. Yeah. And um, again, it's, it, it fits the pattern. Yeah. That one. I mean, yeah, again, we, you know, sorry. Well. Are there not cameras on those cars? No, well, there are. There's one out there in the house at high up. There's a camera and it does look over there, yeah. but, but I can't, catch, then, again, catch. if there's only me and Alex, I, catch, I can't give you. Yeah, it, mm, it depends on what rotated. angle. Why are they coming out from the library? Some, it's a rotating it's camera. So it's the majority of them are a bit savvy and they come out the end. Yeah, they come out the end. The end. Yeah, they do. Shall they use that? Shall they miss the camera? Yeah, yeah. Shall they use that? Yeah. So it is like all the CCTV in town is active. I was a bit scared the other night because I had a conversation with the young fellows and I went to open them to shut my windows because I'd left them past dark. Yeah. And as I went to shut them, I realised that there were a group of people who were to lift up the car over there. It would be a bit of the car lights on. So I mean, I'm I'm never going to be able to stop them no, no, well, sitting up is, there. But I tell you what was scary because as I shut my windows and went to shut my shutters. They decided to traipse out and go home. Oh, okay. It was like they clocked me. Yeah. I, 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 I think. I don't. I think to be. To be I, I really honest, you really don't. Don't, over, <coughs> don't overthink it. A lot of them are female. Um, for one, a lot of the ones that I've spoken to recently are female. They are just young car enthusiasts. I think we need to not. They're not. They're not thugs. Uh, there might be some drug they're exchanges, but females, a lot of them. Uh, well, last night they were. Uh, well, a lot of them I seem to see. Yeah, I, they're not. You know, they are just young car enthusiasts, and I think we need to be very level-headed about. They, there might be some drugs involved. There's probably more I, likely I McDonald's I or I wasn't saying the or exchanges. Route. No, I wasn't saying but the same route at all. yeah, that was a different matter. That was just they were the regular <coughs> making yeah. noise jobs. Yeah, I think, and I think we have and to. I just, to I just be, felt uncomfortable. Yeah. The fact that all I've done was gone to close a window yeah. because it was night time and I was going to. Oh, yeah, not to take that away from you at all, but it, it, I'm just. We, I think I we just need to be. I'm the two factors. No, no, no. The other factor was probably not the same as it was. Yeah. Then. There are, like I said, there are a mixture of groups. Last night there was someone from Norwich who was here who doesn't sit there all the time, so he's he was a new one. Um, but he, again, he wasn't causing any issues, so I can't. It's just. Let's rock some because I have corners in the and a lot of them are going in and out, they go to McDonald's, yeah. they then go, so they'll go to Kramer for a bit, they'll come here for a bit, they'll then catch up. They're obviously like a little fraternity of car enthusiasts and they'll just, you know, meet wherever. And I think it's just, if I'm on duty, like, please ring my mobile. If I'm, like Chris will tell you, if I'm on duty, I will come straight out. Yeah, and, and we've had some, <clears throat> some success where you've called me and I've managed to come out and catch that person straight away. Yeah. Um, it's just about being on... Uh, yeah, at the right time. They're actually getting boys to our, like, I, I, yeah, I need boys. to manage your expectations that yeah. we are not a heavily policed no, area, I, I, and if I there's no one that. to come out, I I'm can't. I'm not even asking you. I'm just making a, a comment. And a, because yeah. I'm new here. Yeah, yeah. I'm new here. Yeah. I've never been here in my life. Yeah. And I don't know anything about anything. Here. No. <laughs> so, but just 
the, the, more, the more contact the we get, yeah, no, the more contact we get. Like if I, if you know, just keep my mobile number. If you, if it's called, if you're awake and it's causing you an issue, if I'm on duty, I will quite happily come out. It's I, not a problem at all. I spoke to my son-in-law a, a couple of weekends ago. I said, "Is there a method that you can make trying to make a big noise by the flick of a switch?" And he said, "Yes." Oh, you. I think that's yeah. Really yeah, and a lot of them do and have these modifications, they do. Um, and it's about us catching them, and we can give them vehicle defect rectification scheme notices or warnings to have that defect. But they never do such. it by happening by accident. No, and, it, and it's by us, yeah. yeah. and to I give, go for doing it yeah. on purpose, I, <laughs> have to that I need to go and shut the windows or yeah. whatever, and if I just happen to be out the window, they don't make a noise. Yeah. It's just the latest craze, isn't it? It is a latest yeah. craze. When I was younger, it was spoilers, and it was, oh, yeah, um, you know, we're talking, that, you know, twenty over twenty years well, ago. That was the thing, and everyone had something to do with spoilers. Yeah. Like, I just yeah. live there, and I, I go to the, the front yeah. and shut windows, and, yeah. because that's where I live. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing to do with whether they're there or not. I'm no. just going to do that. Some of them are totally harmless, but some just absolutely. I don't want them to take note of me as a person. No, and I, and I don't. A lot of them probably wouldn't even register that you were even there. I don't. They're so. Caught up in their phones and Snapchat and bits and pieces when you speak to them. I, I don't oh, honestly think. Yeah, I, I think you could reassure that lady that I think that a lot of. Yeah. Lot, I know a lot of them are can be a nuisance. Yes, yeah, but a lot but of them are just normal. Think, yeah, it's are, just, they're just our young people, young and like I say, it's that generational yeah. thing. That is their. They just yeah. got their first car, they spent a load of money have, on yeah. it. The, the money that they spend on them is ridiculous, and I don't know. And what else have they got? Yeah, they, yeah. Just, you know, as long you know. as they are being set, but I know there's the odd ones that aren't. But I think pretty much, yes. you know, we're not in an area that is really bad that they're gonna. No, 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 no. I think a lot. When I, you know, I'm, I'm always single crewed. Very, I'm never really with another officer. I feel very so confident. You, that's right. In right. going up to them, and they're always very chatty to me. Yeah. They're always very polite. You know, sometimes I do have to put a shot across their bowels about their behaviour, but I can only deal with it when they're on the road and I'm seeing, you know, when they're making the popping sounds and the making yeah, the exhaust. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Then I can give a ticket, and they all know that. Yeah, um, that's actually and, and I, you know, I, you know, yeah. I'll be nice to you until you make it, it my issue, and then we will start giving out tickets. And they know there's that boundary, mm -hmm. um, but they are generally, like I say, a, a nice. They're not an awful bunch of young people. They just. Yeah. They don't know where else to go, and it's just trying to find a suitable place really for them to meet up and and not cause any issue. The, the, the unfortunate thing is, Northampton is a town we haven't really got anywhere that's not surrounded by houses. You know, as our town yeah. centre, there's so many properties in and around the town centre. Wherever they go, they're always going to be yeah. a nuisance. What such. they haven't learned is that hand brake turns <laughs> is going to cost them eventually. <laughs> <Yeah. the time. laughs> yeah. 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 And more fuel in the cars. You yeah. Know? Well, and I suppose one of them the other week, and he and I gave him a warning notice. I think that was one of the ones, the golf yes. that you'd emailed me about, um, the grey golf. And when I gave him the warning notice in front of his parents, who were not very happy, <laughs> and <laughs> he, <laughs> on, in one night he had spent a hundred pound on fuel. What? He, because, was, he was actually taking people out for actual yeah, races down there yeah. and yeah. probably yeah. going over a hundred. Yeah. And then they cry when they get wrapped yeah. around a tree. Yeah, he was. He was an extreme way. Yeah, but he's had a warning notice, yeah, so at least he's on that first run. So wherever, yeah, wherever he goes, then that warning notice sits yeah. on on him for twelve months. What well, it doesn't matter what car he's driving. If he's causing a pain in that car, then he will then yeah. you know he can have his car. Yeah. 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 So it, I I fully accept it's a bloke like, you can hear that. You know. Yeah. 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 The actual section. Yeah, I think it's just about giving it to them. It's about the, trying to visit them and give them an early heads up of like that you're you're already on my radar. If I get any more information about you, you will have one of these warning notices. I will be sharing it with Laura. I will be sharing it with other districts. And then and if, we get, if we get that public space protection shot. thing in, then we can stop them meeting. We can they can I think is it they can't be in more than eight. We can yeah, say if there's more than eight cars, I can give them a direction to leave. And the town residents are monitoring as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How long does a section 59 last for now? 12 months. Oh, it is 12 months. 12 months, yeah. So if they don't get another one within that time, another one would mean seizure. And if they don't do anything in that 12 yeah. months, if they behave, that drops off. That's not to say they can't get another one straight away, but <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 it's almost the like. Car it's, itself, like all no, it's on the person. So if they sell that car and get a new car, it's on them. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's on their, on their already, international yeah. computers, on the PNC, on their record. So oh, yeah, they could change cars multiple times. They could be on a bike, they could be in a car, they could do whatever. It's on them, and they yeah, that gives us the power to, to do that.
to seize that vehicle. Right, so. section, section 59, could you like put something about that on your Facebook page or the notes board so that we can yeah. share it? Because yeah. I think the more teenagers that might see yeah. that, it, and also well, parents so there as well. Yeah, so I don't deal with our Facebook, um, we have a comms officer, but I can definitely ask her to put out a, a publication about that and then just say, yeah. Just a bit, as, a, as a driving instructor, yeah. I can then make all yeah. um, that age group yeah. aware of Section 59. Yeah. Mm. The issue is, uh, just sticking up for our young people, <laughs> it's not all our young people. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It's <laughs> it really isn't. It's some people that should have thrown out of the fence. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I can't think who you're talking about. <laughs> I can. I'm a um, yeah. yeah, so... so you know, massive thanks to the team, especially you, Emma. Oh, yeah. You know, you have had your work cut out chasing people around, trying to issue <laughs> these things. Um, but it has quickly spread. Our younger people, actually, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Say what? Yeah. Our younger people actually should put a sign out now, shouldn't I? Feel like Emma is the scary one. <laughs> 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 I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm really not. Which is great. Which is great. Yeah. Which is like, and that's, yeah. that's come from one person. Yeah. Who was stopped and yeah. the around time? Who I was very fair with. Be I was very I, fair. I was the That was a motorbike. That was a motorbike. Oh, yeah. So our young people on motorbikes have always know that if they see Emma and Emma's looking at them, then they're probably going to get into trouble. So when they know, you know that Emma's on shift, they are completely. <laughs> a lot of them don't make eye contact. No. But they check <laughs> each other out. So some of them, they, you know, have a noisy exhaust pod, they're like, no, if she catches you. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. 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 I'd much rather them learn and almost police themselves and know the rules. Which is why the actual um, section 59 yeah. is, is actually working. And we, ha we have talked about doing um, some kind of event. I've got a friend who works in traffic about doing some kind of, um, you know, where they can all bring their modified cars down and speak to a traffic officer and see what is, they do them in Yarmouth and just see what, what, is, what is legal, what is not legal, yeah. what they should be having, you know, yeah. just and just kind of build that rapport with them so they mm. know the rules before just you know a majority of them know them yeah a lot of them a lot of them do know but you yeah, always get that next generation who you know buy their yeah. course and stick something on it and and i do try and be fair with them i do always try words and advice and then i always say look next time and that has happened and i'll give them a ticket for the for the modification so they are aware you know it's not it's about trying to be sort of good cops sometimes as well, yeah, and kind of build up that relationship with them so they know daily mm. tonight it's not tonight. Which is why for numbers, <laughs> I normally, if that's probably made five to ten times, then I'll actually take the number yeah. and then send it to you. Yeah, yeah. It's just a one off order. Yeah. And like I say, if, I don't even is. need, uh, I don't even need your names. If you want my mobile number, like I say, it's on the website. Just yeah. text me <laughs> with the registration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they knew I'm here. Um, yeah, registration time and day. <laughs> yeah. Just stand up as well. Yeah, you always out the back. Yeah, yeah registration <laughs> time and day. How um, much? And then I can then follow that yeah. up. And say, I have a little list on my desk of like the repeat <laughs> offenders. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. It just means that you keep out and get the registration. Yeah, go to it. So I understand new road and speeding is, is a massive issue. Um, it's a massive, to be fair, it's, it's, it's all across the district as well. It's the villages, you know, I'm sure you were saying monthly as well, and, and, and Witten and Rivington and this pieces and... And Walcott. Brick, Brick Hill. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So we had someone doing um, speed checks down Brick Hill the other day. I'll yeah. be very honest. But you're not down the bottom, are you? I did do some down the bottom. We haven't seen you down the bottom. Um, who did I speak to? Sarah, who works at the school. Uh, now? Yeah, she saw me do them. Everyone who's halfway down. There was one way, there was one person's. Do you have to be aware? So, first, to get a speed check, it has to be a clear line of sight. You can't really do it around the corner because it doesn't give me time to measure the car, look at the speed, and then step out. Right down the end mm. is really difficult. But right down do. the end, which is what I've emailed you about, is the, the green where the yeah. kids play. Yeah. And when we lived opposite, yeah. We would put a high vis out on yes. a stick and jam well, the okay. so that they, <laughs> people would come down there, see the high so vis I have, and slow down yeah. because the kids play football on there. Yeah. You know, the amount of cats that might include mine that has been hit by a car down the bottom, but all the speed yeah. checks are at the top. No, well, I have tried. I've tried the top, the, the bottom. I haven't done right down the middle, but it's quite difficult when you've got cars parked to get a clear 
I'd have to put myself right. in the road almost. Um, so when I've gone down, even it, if you even, even if you weren't going to try and catch them, if you stood there as as a deterrent. So that they don't, so they're aware yeah, that you're doing that. A cardboard, yeah, cardboard cutout. Cut out. <laughs> the frustrating thing is, everyone I've ever stopped lives down there. So it is your local <laughs> resident. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. To their <laughs> I look at no one. And that is the frustrating thing. Even when I was halfway down, the girl that I stopped again was on her way home down to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. It was probably one of your neighbours. Yeah, um, this is where the speed watch team yeah. would come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what I was going to say. There's only one Emma and there's only yeah. one Alex. So the more that we can do as a community to come mm. together and to do these speed watches, and yeah, it's uncomfortable, but if we feel that passionate about it, you've got to do something. So as a speed watch, you're not stopping. I would be stopping cars because on my own, I can't. I can't look at the speed and remember the registration all in one go and think, you know, it's just too much. Um, but as a speed watch, you're there as a three, so someone, I'm, which will, correct me if I'm wrong, you've got one person taking it, one person telling the speed and, and, and verifying the speed that they've seen, and then one person writing down the registration, so you've yeah, got that all, kind there's of... There's always three. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we coincided with our SAM 2. Yeah, so you use that. So as, we use that to determine yeah. when we're going to do it. Which you've also got down Brick Hill and you've got a SAM 2. That, that gives you a breakdown 24 hours yeah. of speeds right the way through the day and night. Yeah. And we can't do speed watch at night for mm. oh, an hour. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we've been going at 7 o'clock yeah. in the morning. Oh, yeah. it's 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 we've, we've been doing 7 o'clock in the morning, which is when. Yeah, you're getting a majority, majority of people coming through, um, aren't you? And then now we're, we get nine or ten going you know, through trunch, yeah. doing over 35. Mm. It has to be over 35. Which is, because you're fantastic, <laughs> would, you, <laughs> would you come to mum's then? <laughs> <laughs> would you be able to do an event like for, for local people to come to? A bit like the one we did on climate change the other night, so people can come to sure. Trunch Village Hall yeah. and then learn more about it and maybe sign up? Sure. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Probably we can always work in conjunction more. with you. We can always come along at the same time more. and try and just do like, a, like, this is what we're trying to promote, which yeah. is already part of it. Mm. Please come along. And I'm happy to do one in town if, if people yeah. feel that would be beneficial. It's not yeah. non it's not yeah. non yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. So I can do speech and I have the appropriate equipment. The only thing is, I don't work night shifts. No. My role is not a night shift role, so I'm like, I'm dependent on my colleagues who are on night shifts, um, doing those for me. Again, to be completely honest with you, manager expectations. There is maybe one or two cars in the Horsham on a night shift. They cover Stalham as well, and oh, Stalham okay. Compton yeah, and the Horsham. Yeah. If they both want to a job, there is no one else to do those features, oh, no, yeah. um, and they will only get them all the way for emergency That's jobs. So, yeah, yeah, I'm actually yeah. asked Norwich about police. Norwich won't come. Yeah, they don't have a choice for them. Yeah, so so the, 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 the so traffic will come. They, they work <laughs> yeah. out of the uh, POSIC, the new Broadlands Hub. Yeah. Um, they work out there. But again, if they we've had so many fatals in the last couple of weeks. Know, so they, they also, they don't only just go to those fatal jobs. They are then act, mm. they act as the family liaison officers mm. for those jobs. So they are then trucked up with that. Um, bearing in mind, we've also had firearms jobs. I'm sure you will have heard we've had a stabbing in Norwich, so they're on high alert for those jobs. They dual roles, they don't just do guns, they do guns and traffic. Um, yeah. So a lot of them have to obviously do those roles. We also have Sandingham, and there are a lot of the traffic officers get pulled because they're guns as well, they get taken over there. So we are, we're, I feel like we're just the, like the poor cousins. We are, well, yeah, and well, it's, yeah. it's really frustrating, but we just are, yeah. yeah we're really thankful when they do come over. Yeah, but they're just, they're, like I say, the fact that we're being, for the next seven days, we are just day yeah, jobs as normal. Like, there isn't the resilience there um, to help us. Um, and I think you raised MOD. MOD will not step out of their um, their really? remit. So no. They, no. they will not help. Let's go to new boss. Yeah. I have asked and asked and asked, unless it's a threat to life, they will not assist. So, yeah, we're okay. So, it, it, it is literally yeah. just yeah. as the Ministry of Defence police. It is the Ministry of Defence. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of they're not going to be Ministry of Defence anymore. I don't know if you know that. They're going to civil nuclear. So, um, <laughs> they will be doing the same job though. It's the same job, but it'll just be a different, ba a different badge. Um, whether they will be more proactive when they are civil nuclear. Again, I ask all the time. Um, I ask for them to. 
took out in Munzee, I asked them to look out in Bacton, I asked them to look out in Walcott. Um, they, they'll say it's not their job. Yes, we, so, do, we do have quite a bit of speeding late in the evening in yeah. Walcott. Yeah. Um, we even have a cherry bomb yeah. going through late at night. Oh, we've heard you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Lang, Lang, yeah. My dogs love it. And again, I'll, I'll bring Pauline on this because this is a really difficult thing. We had a meeting. Do we put in um, speed? Um, what was the word now? Like speed traps, almost like slowing measures. But then, yeah. But that hasn't worked very well in Monday, and no one knows who to give way to who. And also, you all the all the terminal traffic for back to gas terminals goes through Walcott. It is signposted to go that way. Yeah. So if you then start. And the farmers. And the farmers use it. Yeah, yeah. So we're kind of damned if we do, damned if we don't. Like, I want to slow everything down, but mm. at the same time, if we try and slow yeah. it down, the terminals are going to whinge that we're... Yeah. Emma, can mm. you do anything about dangerous parking? No. Mm. I, I think all, all our complaints And again, to manage all your expectations, they took all our powers away, I think it was 2015. So, no so I can't... The only, tick, I can, the only thing I can give out is obstruction. Obstruction as in the whole carriageway is obstructed. That is mm. the only thing I can deal with. So how about obstruction to letting council vehicles go in? No. No. We've got we've we're not getting our dustbins emptied because there's motorhomes parked at the end of the road. And I have no I have no, I have no powers down that road. Yeah, so I have no, you'd have to speak to West Lynn, uh, West Norfolk yeah. and Kingsley. Maria's come districts. up with a good idea that we go and take our bins down there and put them all around his motorhome. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fly tipping because it's still in the bin. Um, yeah, we're not fly tipping because it's still in the bin. It's a really difficult one, yeah. It, we used to have those powers, but and, yeah, unless the road is completely obstructed. Then the I, bin, then. I can't. I can't do anything. If you speak to. Um, I think we've got a point of contact there, haven't we? I, I've tried to speak to the parking people before when we've had issues down at the store with parking. But to point blank, refuse yeah. to move the motorhome so that they can go through. Mm. Yeah, really frustrating. Yeah, I have had so, so many irate phone calls today. Yeah. It's really difficult. It's just I don't have the powers to to make them move. And then it, and I've been getting an earful from Norfolk people paying their tax that people outside the county are jamming the road up. I said double yellow all the way down, down, but they're not going to help with the speed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to get your damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you, if you double yellowed it all the way down, then you would you wouldn't have the motorhomes. We have we have put in some designs for our TRO. Yeah, I, I know someone yeah. had messaged me the other day and said that you put an application. So. You know when people park over an H bar, when yeah, H bars aren't enforceable. They're not. No. So how about no advisory? So how about the wheelchairs and the? Yeah, what are they supposed to do? And the mobile. Find somewhere safe to cross. There isn't any way. Well, right. you, they're not. In, but they're not, I can't enforce them anyway. But traffic would say, um, not not traffic. The parking people would say, they're advisory. They're not enforceable. And it's mostly disabled people. If you want to take it up with them, that, it's mostly use, disabled people that do. park across them. Oh. I think what you're finding is that as we, I don't, I think you can, yeah, I don't have that many powers. No, I deal with crime. Don't. I can't deal. I can't That's deal with parking. I can deal with speeding when it's happening. I can deal with incidents when they're happening, but I cannot. I have no powers. Um, and that half of these things on the floor actually are not really worth no. the paper they're written on. No. Most people do stick to them, don't they? Don't they? That's what they're hoping for. But H, yeah, H bars have never been enforced. Um, I know you know because like, I used to have one in front of my house and everyone used to. So then there's no no point in all these low curbs really. No. There is one. There is an offence of parking in front of the drop curb, but again, it would be the parking people, not me. So yeah, if they're if they're over in Wells and they're not over in Walcott, then or Kingsley. Or, yeah. Well, they come. They're based here, but you think they cover North Norfolk like we do North Norfolk as a district? And I'll be completely honest. I think if they're probably. Got, they've got the busy coastal places, yes. they're going to have the, the car parks in Cromer and the car parks in Sherry and the car parks in Wells. Mm. They're going to be drawn to where they need to yeah. find their revenue. Yeah, people imagine. are having to jump the curves. Yeah. Well, they are, I mean, last week they, I was sitting out in the cafe and people, people were jumping on the curves again because they were too impatient to wait for the cars to come the other way. Yeah. So they were running down the curves on a Sunday morning. Yeah. It's very frustrating, that is, yeah. I, 
Yeah. 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 When, when, when we were full. I mean, yeah. it was so, such a lovely day. Yeah. It's a jam. Yeah. Yeah. It's the curse of people living on the seaside, isn't it? It's people. It's the, the absolute curse that you have. That it's beautiful, but everyone wants to be there. And everyone. And, and no one. And then you, have, you make a car park, there. and no one wants to pay to. Yeah. They'd rather lose a wing mirror. Yeah. It's bizarre. And I don't know why. It's I, bizarre. I, I'm actually jealous of them because they've got brilliant moments in my life. I had a, a case come to me a couple of weeks ago, and uh, this guy with a brand new motor had a brand spanking new. I mean, I don't know how much it would have yeah. cost. Yeah. And he was complaining that he got a parking ticket on the <laughs> train car park. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then I saw the photo <laughs> and he parked <laughs> that way across six yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, unfortunately, I think we're seeing a lot of people now. Me. With this selfish. Attitude. Selfish. Yeah, it, it's, it's yeah. you know, it's selfish. We, I can't remember a time when people were this. Problematic, maybe, is a polite word to say. We have people that sit on the pavement having the breakfast so that you've got to walk yeah. in the road to get round them. Well, put the well, I, know, I, well I went for a walk down the other day and there was people hanging their washing out on the wall. And, 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 and I actually get it. I just, I think we had this conversation up. Is so difficult from our point of view that I just don't have those powers to to deal with those kind of things. Essentially, I think someone emailed in and said, "Why? How can they park there all night?" Well, there is no restrictions on no, that road. Not yet. So either, not either yet. we have to put the restrictions. Working on it. And and again, traffic wardens don't work in the middle of the night. So. Well, it's about time they do. <laughs> so who's, who's, who's going to police it when we've got our no overnight parking? Well, that's it. Who is going to police it? I don't get Maria? Yeah, Eight dogs. Eight dogs. <laughs> bar. bar can't come out. Eight German shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> that might give them a scare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everything that gets reported to you, because there's, there's not many of you, that takes a long time for them to do to sort through. I mean, I, we, I'm, I try to be up, as up to date as I can. I mean, you've got so you've got me and Alex. We have a shared inbox, which is the SNT, not Bullshit inbox, um, which we monitor every morning when we go in and throughout the day. And then it's pretty much, if anything comes through to me, if, if I can try and... And I'm not saying it's your fault. I mean, we need more policing in the town, yeah. but unfortunately we can't have it. No. So no. that's what it then... Whether, whether new it, government so. will change yeah. that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But um, it, 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 is, it is purely a resourcing, it is a resourcing issue. Um, and like, so this weekend, full transparency, Saturday I covered the Norwich City football match. Yeah. And yesterday I went to Norwich to sit on the seal for the murder. So there wasn't any of me on the entire weekend. And Alex is on annual leave because she, she can't not go on holiday. Um, so it's not so that's the thing. On YouTube. Nor- but Norwich, Yarmouth, and Kings Lynn, because we are such a rural force, yeah. and they are the bigger towns, will always pull us in as yeah. as a kind of. Oh yeah, I've been sorry yeah. to you. Yeah. yeah. You can't we need we need more people, but is. you know it's there, there aren't all, there aren't any, so yeah. it's just how it is. Really. Yeah. 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 So so if they're thinking about actually running the courts overnight, mm. there is no reason why the parking people. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Probably be some enhanced um, yeah. hourly pay that they probably would want. Mm. But they don't need that. They're already paid in. They, they're, 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 they're never going to run the courts overnight. That's, I don't know. Oh, That's not going to happen. Yeah. I don't see how they. How they did before, happen. didn't they? Yeah, I, I, how can you how can you have a jury that's sit in the night if you need? I get remand cases and the first hearings, but if you if you're taking a case to trial, how can you see that in the night? You can't. And I've done jury so I did jury service last year, so I don't see how you could. Yeah, don't see how you could. And the courts are running at such a backlog; they're almost a year in advance. We're booking court dates now for. I'll hold it. Do you know what? If everyone, if as a community we all kind of helped a bit more, it, mm. it would make everything a lot easier. But people don't want to, I think. And you shouldn't have to, but no. sometimes it would just, if people could pull together as a community. It is always the same people that want to do it. trying to yeah, yeah. more, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's and that's in every community event. I'm sure Rob will tell you from the fun day, you have the same people year in, year out. Yeah. Yeah. The Christmas lights people are always the same people. Well, you don't really get new people. 
that comes to me for me to torture outside and say, oh yeah, I'll support you. Yeah. When it comes to doing it, they don't want it. No one's there. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll be there. But many hands make light work, don't they? But we don't have many hands. But so that's where the reply in. So I know Lily is probably sick of me saying it, but uh, when we're trying to make our police force's job easier and more efficient for them, which is 16 percent of the council tax, by the way, does go to the police and crime commissioners, um, we're trying to now help our police force work with what they've got. So as much as Lily is sick of me saying, report it, you can do it online, you can phone it through. Every single report of an incident helps evidence gather and helps direct Emma when she's so stretched with the rest of the team. Even if you can just keep a log, even if, if even if you want to do it on a weekly basis and get in contact with me on a weekly basis, just keep a log yeah. of what you're hearing, the times you're hearing it, and then I, at least I can then send that out to my colleagues. Alex and I always chat anyway, so we kind of know we're on the same page, but obviously my colleagues, and you're getting a lot of people because we are short staffed coming in from other areas, so they're coming in to cover from Great Yarmouth and King's Lynn, and they don't really know what our local priorities are. So it's just trying to kind of stick it on my board, like in the middle of the office, like these are the times and days. If you've got, you know, if you've got a spare half an hour, can you go and sit here? Can you go and do this yeah. here? Statistics um, will prove a need, won't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 It's all about working smarter, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Working mm. smarter. You just need us to get the numbers as simple. It's just it's just feeding yeah, back into yeah, so yeah, yeah so I can tell everyone else that this these are the issues because my inspector wants to know my yeah. boss my sergeant wants to know you know I, I they hold us accountable as well like you know what the community are telling you this what What's are you doing trends? how are you how are you telling the rest of your colleagues we have a monthly report that goes out to all our colleagues about our priorities um people have known what's going on in the town events that we've got coming up so the more I get it out there that mm. you know. It's specifically New Road. It's the, I mean, they all know New Road now, anyway, because I've harped on about it enough. It is the worst. Well, um, but, yeah. but yeah, it's just trying to get them. We've got a few specials now that are coming out. They've done some um, speed checks down Brick Hill for me last week and New Road. Um, so they're now going to support the Safer Neighbourhood team because their um, their role within the constabulary is a little bit under the microscope as to whether they support the response colleagues or they should support, um, support us. So if I can feed back into them, they'd be coming out on a Monday evening, they're going to be back out next weekend. If I can give them tasks, then perfect. But if, if everything's just quiet and I don't hear anything for a few days, and it's yeah. like sat at home and I can hear, I, I full disclosure, I live in the hall, so I do hear a lot of it. I don't think that I don't, I don't know about it. I can hear it in my own house on the bypass sometimes, you know, the, the bikes going past. Um, but yeah, the more that I can feed back to them and give them tasks, yeah. then the easier it is for me to kind of, you know, yeah. Yes. Delegate almost. And um, just thinking back to the times and dates, it's important because Emma and the team could not just go and sit and scroll through the CCTV. Yeah. There has to be a specific reason. I can't look. Yeah. It, oh, if, so if you want me to look at 12 hours of CCTV, <laughs> it's pretty much going to take me 12 hours. Also, so, yeah, yeah, I can't just go and sit there and look through yeah. it all. I, can't, so, I, have, I haven't got the capacity. I just want to sit in my office. I haven't got the capacity to talk through hours of CCTV. If you can give me like a specific yeah. time that this is happening, then I, of course I can then go back and check. And if the camera is pointing at the right direction at the right time, then perfect. Um, they are actually crafting over because yeah, they, they go at the opposite way. way so yeah, yeah, but they don't know. They don't know when it when it rotates because it's a, a big ball, so you wouldn't know from outside when it. There's no way of seeing it on the left because of that trees there in the way. Yeah. Yeah. But they're moving. They're moving. You can see everything on the. No, the, no, that camera is moving. No, no, no. Uh, the actual trees in the way because they are yeah. to actually cut up. That, uh, that, you, there is a clear line of sight. That's all that has been done. Yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. So you can can see see the, the the I can see the entrance, entrance and the exit mm -hmm. and the rear right. pit part, and I can see down towards the town council offices. But yeah. you think while well, it's yeah. looking that way for five seconds, it's not looking that way for five seconds. Yeah. It hasn't got yeah. a three sixty. It moves in a set pattern. So dates, times, and red numbers. Or not if you if you can't see the red number, just Give me enough to kind of work out the make and model of a yeah. car, yeah. and then to be fair, on my list of things, generally it's the same people. So I go, oh, it's a red golf. Oh, I know who that red golf is. Yeah, exactly. You can you start to pick off cars, and I'll be honest. You know, I do my shopping in town. I'm around a lot of you will probably see me around town anyway. I if I'm even if I'm off duty, I'll think, oh, that's that car, and I'll take a picture of it on my own phone. So if I know about it, even if I'm not on duty, I'm still kind of always. A on little duty. bit on duty, mm -hmm. and I will pick off that one. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, um, we were talking about.
up the camera. Mm -hmm. okay. It doesn't look at your house. No, I, oh, okay. I, I, took, I took my camera out and checked it with its Velcro on it to see where it was turning from and to. And I realised it didn't uh, look into my house, but I can actually see it's turning. Yeah. So I, I did spot that myself. Yeah, yeah, that but works, what yeah. I was going to say to you was yeah. For a year's observation, and I'm a person who tends to observe because I tend to be asked quite late at night, mm -hmm. um, because it's just a habit of mine. Um, I would say the most important hours are between 11 and 1. Mm -hmm. I can't make it tighter than that. No. Uh, Which you know anyway. And I think, like, I think there was a call for service is, in the other the, night. That is the, yeah, the, 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 the witching hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it's going to happen, it's now. Yeah. And I think there was a call, I'm going to say, probably about one o'clock. But there's no good me um, ringing you up because I can't read the number plates because their lights are facing me. No, that's and that's fine. But someone really someone phoned up and said they were causing a disturbance. And they went out, didn't they? And yeah. actually, they, they were just playing football. They weren't yeah, actually. That's a general comment. Um, yeah. yeah. And there's had loads in the last week. So she asked yeah, I've got a. I've got yeah, a apologies, apologies. I'll give you this one. Yeah. But yeah. they are genuine. Yeah, no, it's fine. And I've already started to yeah, look at who owns those vehicles yeah. and, 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 and get addresses and stuff. I'm very careful. I don't know if you have these in there. Oh, that's the But I think I'm going to be a few yeah. yeah, I, I, you know, I've got windows open at home, and I can hear them. I know, yeah, I know they're around. It's just, if I can hear them, yeah. So I'm we're apologising for the noise. Yeah, it's just the noise. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
anything anyone is experiencing, any antisocial behaviour, please do report it to us because I say if I, if I don't know about it, people say, oh, this is happening, this is happening. Well, you, you don't tell me about it. I can't try and help you or try and work on it. Go ahead. What does hate crime come under? Antisocial behaviour? No, hate crime, crime has a separate um, a separate banding on our... Athena is the system we use, so hate crime would be a standalone incident, but hate crime can be associated with any crime as well. How so you could have a tag. You could, sorry. How good are you with it? Yeah. Or personally, <laughs> or as a as, force. As a force, as a police force. I don't, I, I don't know. I couldn't answer that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not very well. Do you, what, do you want a specific no, answer? No, as no, how, very, is, not very how many convictions there's been? And or so how many? No, about the, what you're going to do it. about it. Uh, so there's reports that just seen off the police to hit a crime and then they associate hate crime with it rather than using hate crime as a main one because it makes the stats look better for Norfolk. That's, uh, I don't think that's, that's, I think that's just how it works. I think that's just how the system works. You can't, yeah. if you, you can either have a standalone hate mm-hmm. incident or if you have a public order offence, someone's being you know, verbally abused and it's related to you know, any of the factors that they identify with that making it a hate crime, then that, is an, as, that is an associated that? tag. How can you prove that? Evidence. What that, it, that it's a hate mm-hmm. crime, or how can I prove what that, you, it, that last bit that you just said about that's just how the system is. I don't unless you look at the system, then you'd have to ask for a freedom of information request, and then you could. No, I've got an issue, and I don't know how to deal about it, and I don't know whether or not I can trust you with it. Well, I, I don't know if you can either. I don't. <laughs> No, no, I, 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 we've met numerous yeah. times before. If you don't feel like you can trust me, then you would have to find another so that it's about that it if I you come to you mm-hmm. about an issue and then you go ahead with that issue to investigate it, I could have a huge backlash come back at me with more fear and intimidation and possibly physical assault. Mm-hmm. So I want to know It's not worth it. I'll tell you, it isn't. The, cap, the CCTV in North Horsham, you can be beaten for being gay and never looking your way. The CCTV moves, so I don't know why they move, maybe because something is happening. They've always they moved. Move. There is no no, that's what I'm saying, I don't know why they yeah. move, because you can't have them to come in everywhere. You, you can't, because you'd have to have twice, oh, or yeah. three times the amount of cameras. cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, the cameras have them on the first place. Right it's not now, in, in, because in, everyone knows they don't see us. In this but they do, they do town. capture a lot of things. You think we had the incident where someone was run over on Vicarage Road car park, it's caught yeah, it perfectly. Like so yeah. it does it does help us. I was looking at a job earlier, it's caught what I needed yeah. to catch. Yeah, but so I, I can't say yeah, it. I can't say jobs, at, at, you that's know what I'm saying. You might get the odd job. Yeah. But I because my, so my grandson was been said a racist. He was frightened to report it because he was frightened of backlash you there. Backlash from what his peers? Yeah. Not yeah. But I I can't poli- I I can't police that. I can't no, police can't. people's opinions and backlash from others. Yeah, but I can this, only deal with the job that but I. Where it happened, yeah. they were more concerned about their reputation than what actually happened to my grandson. Okay. Which is wrong. I don't know which job you're talking about, so I can't really give you a an but honest more, response. If you want to talk about it. Later, what, what you know, at another time. Yeah, but they shouldn't have been more worried about their reputation when it happened to their premises. It's okay. When it happened to what was said to my grandson. Okay. I, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I can't, what can I, I say? I don't, I don't know the job. Like, I, you know, I, she's I, acting mad for the truth, the person who said it. Okay. I mean, if you report the crime, then we will do everything we can to support you as a victim. I can't tell you to report a crime if you no, don't want to report a crime or support. The person in their premises were more concerned about their reputation in the town. Yeah, they basically so tried to keep it quiet that someone would okay. made a racial remark against her yeah. family member. Okay. okay. And they and said they saw so why, their why you, you can that. report that on someone else's behalf if they're a minor, and you can, as a third party, you can report that if you're in a position of trust within, you know, if you as a grandmother or mother or whatever you are to that person, but, you can report that. But I said to him I was proud of him because he turned around and just walked away. Yeah. They would look for a fight, obviously. But these are the things that like, if, if I don't know about within the community, how, how can I try and tap, how can I be, how can I support our young people? To... Because you don't understand, none of you understand. No. You can all collectively agree on speeding because you can all understand that, you've yeah. all been affected by that. Mm-hmm. But when you are gay, when you are suffering 
with hate and intimidation and the threat of physical violence. None of you understand that. So, so, sorry, I've not finished. So, when it comes to a few of us sitting here tonight, we're trying to ask for support. So how, 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 can I, how can I give that support to you? All of you. Is it being... All of you. Uh, well, uh, okay, as a collective, and how, how can we, this as a community, what, how can this we support... This is what we need to move forward with. I haven't got the answers. Okay. I haven't got the answers. Oh, right, exactly. You the haven't answer. got the answers. Okay. None of us have got the answers. But okay. we collectively have to share the fact that North Walsham has a few issues speeding, yeah. but there's also one or two people around town, you know exactly who I'm talking about, because I've already asked you for a welfare check on Blue, mm -hmm. and you've forgotten. I have forgotten. Thank I'm you, sure very, I'm thank sure you very much, Emma. You're great with kids, with chasing them, and I've come to you for a welfare check because of fear for my safety, and you've now told me you've forgotten about it. Right. Thank I, you. I, I have you. so much going on. I can't really. So you, I you, mean, every time I walk into town, I'm walking around with a camera okay. strapped to me. If you because because I don't know where I'm sure you'll come straight back to me. It's going to happen. He to. knows where I live. Okay. He stands at the bottom of my drive. He will pinpoint me anywhere I go and he will literally come after me. Okay. But you, okay. Haven't, you haven't reported that, that to me. What's the point? I have asked you for a welfare check to make sure that he's on any medication. I couldn't disclose to that to you anyway. Sorry? I couldn't disclose that to you anyway. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. So even I'm so sorry, my... I can't remember who you're talking about, but I might have already done it and I wouldn't be able to tell you anyway. <sighs> Is it not time for a North Walsham Pride? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And I'm pleased that the spokesperson has been the one here tonight asking for it. Because you know, because <laughs> <laughs> as a gay person, I don't feel like I can stand here and go, can we have a pride, please? You should have to. You should have to. Should have no, to. No. I was doing a gay pride about three years ago when the Phoenix Group started and got quite so big. <laughs> That's the only bit I've got. Can I, can I, can I just. Yeah. But we need support. We, we need. If you want to organise, I mean, if I have numerous gay colleagues, I'm sure they would, who work in North Walsham, I'm sure they would all support you as you know as a police force. Mm. Any locally, put that as person officers. who's attacking you. Not yeah. yet. He's not done it yet. No, but but he's that would make him it. feel small, or the person feel small, or you know. Ooh. I can't. I don't want to because I don't trust what is going to happen with that information because he's going to know exactly that it's me and it could tenfold the threat and intimidation that he's given to me. I've got okay, so we, we, we don't share where information has come. Generalised information. If you make a complaint against someone, oh, and I'm going to interview someone, the lesbian that lives down the road, they're going to. Yeah. He's going to never say it like that. You know? No, but I, 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 I would no. never say it like that. But if you want, if there's a complaint no, against that person, yeah. they're going to know that you've made the evidence I have. I have to disclose where that has come from. If, if they're interviewed under caution, I have to disclose certain bits of that. I don't disclose personal details, but they're going to know if you've made a complaint. Who's made the complaint? It's not an anonymous. Is it only follow-up? Is it only that's what I fear? There might not be any follow-up. Just a question, listen, so I've got CCTV footage of of, of this of harassment happening on the stuff there at the pub and um so you know we, we looked at that and stuff and pinpointed it. So is that useful evidence? Can that be given? Can I give that evidence to the police to use? Yeah, it's it's, I've got I've got I've got, I've got over hundred videos. I've got I've got, I've got evidence of, of him coming in the chippy at me. Says more about them though, doesn't it? I feel like it's maybe a conversation, like a one on one yeah. conversation for another yeah. time. I don't but think I just there's anything want I everybody, can... because I'm sick of hiding, I'm 49, I've been out more than I've been hitting, believe you me. And it's everyone needs to understand. Does he only do it to you? Or is he going around town doing it to other people that he's aware of? Or so he's, aware he, of he's, he's the type that I, I, yeah. I chucked him out of the pub in a bar yeah. and then for a week he was stalking you around town because I bar So he's the type that will latch on to people. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you need to go yeah. careful yeah. about the fact that you're, on, you're being recorded. So let's please, you know, not name names and that kind of thing. Uh, have we? No, no, no. no, I'm just saying we're before, we, before we start saying a name or someone says no, a name. No, we're not saying names, but I just want the community to understand that this is going on. 
mm. as well. I think that's important because we all know about the speeding because we all talk to our neighbours about the Because it affects but us then we don't necessarily know about that. Because and our, and our, and our, snap, our, our priority setting meetings are about setting priorities in the community, not updating specific people that are about, old yeah. people that are about specific crimes or issues. This is about what is affecting us as a community. Exactly. Okay. But you've got so, more than one lesbian in town. And I'm no, I know, I know that, but it's... Issues going but, on. Are, are, are they saying hate known. crime is an ongoing issue in town? Because I've not had anyone approach me and say that it is. So it certainly is in some Which of these is, cities, isn't it? You know. Well, at the minute, yes, of course. If you live in Southport or Sunderland, clearly hate crime is a massive issue there right now. Not with regards to being. Do you um, find when you're out, LGBT that if something like that happens, that somebody stands up for you? I would have thought so. Well, I would have most of the I think so. so. Depends on what road I am to know who knows me that I can go and knock on door. But depends whether they doesn't it shouldn't matter whether they know you or not. Like if somebody came up to you and you were standing next to me and they were abusive to you, I would say something. Thank you. Yes, that is and, and I would hope that most people would. Yes, for anyone. Um to anyone. Um, and that's that's the culture we want to encourage. Yes, please. Um, so I would hope that people would do that. Stand to you. up and be counted. But nice. if there is um, a situation that's over and above that, then you need to be going to to Emma with all the evidence that you've got. And uh, but you, I can assure you that that I would stand up for you, and I would hope the majority of the people in the room would as well. I had a phone call from somebody who was attacked at one of my events that I organised. But they didn't come and tell me at the time. They phoned me the next day and I said, unless you told me at the time, and then I could report it to the police, or you can report it to the police, you can't tell me afterwards. And I couldn't do anything about it. But no, that's not fair. That's not fair. Sorry, fair. some people can't. Yeah. I, in that moment, if something happening, that's just what I yeah. you can't always deal with it. Sometimes your head, some people take yeah, a different world process. Mm -hmm. Not everybody but is going to come right. forward straight away. We all deal with things differently. Yeah. And if something traumatic has happened to you, you're it, right. But <laughs> example, rape. Yeah, it sure. isn't always yeah. reported straight away. These things were reported 15 years later. That doesn't make it any less important. No. If somebody's going to report it, it should be taken seriously no matter where. Yeah. But it was a it was a carpet that I done, but I couldn't go and speak to those people and say what you're saying because I didn't know who it was. It was the next step in. I couldn't step in, but I didn't have you support someone if you don't know. But the, but what I'm <laughs> saying is, then the onus is still on yourself then to take the evidence to the police. Yeah. They wanted me to deal with it, and I said I couldn't no, deal with it. No, you couldn't deal with it. They needed to go to the police. Yes, because it's after the event. Well, that's that's simple. That's that, that's it. And not just to make it very clear as well to manage your expectations, I can't, I, I can't take everyone's crime reports on. There, there is only me, and I have numerous roles to cover. Yet, um, so <laughs> but when yeah. we've requested an update from a case, why haven't we had an update? So I think the case has been reopened in your yeah. specific case and has gone back to the officer that had it originally, which was not me, which yeah. appears to be Coco. So I think you were waiting. So. Yeah, but he's he's on holiday, so I, what can I? There are ways of doing it. It does feel like. I mean, we're not off. always on holiday. I've had three days off this year. <laughs> so, realistically, I have had no leave and my leave started in April. So, we're not always on holiday. We do work a shift pattern and I think you have to sign with response colleagues work um, too early, too late, two nights. Um, I work three early, three late, late, depending on what other events I have to do. I only get three days off. but So, I'm here a lot of the time. But if I'm tied up with other stuff, I get pulled, like I said, from pillar to post. Next week again, I'm covering a Norwich City football match. Over the summertime, I've had to cover other areas, other districts, um, the murder seal. I can't, you know, I can't be there. It's either. not that it's dropped off your list. No, it's not. But it's just, it's, it's not. It's not my. It's not my I can't. I can't update everyone about everything when it's well, not my list. To ladies had that over her head for two letters, her in it or whatever it is. You can't move forward. Mm. It's it's frustrating from our point of view because we are. Yeah, we're doing this with advice. We we send you the emails of when this person is walking out in front of our vehicles, when he's outside our house, following us all the time. And from our point of view, it's quite frustrating. We're mothers, you know. He's walking out in front of my vehicle. And I think we had this conversation yeah. before, and I'll say it again. We have hot. to understand people who are not predatory 
I think the person we're talking yeah. about is not a predatory person. Well, I mean, from QD, you can see outside my car, so I can go up to the car park and get in my car. Okay. Yeah. Again, I think these are, this is a conversation for another time. This is not about a priority setting meeting. This is if you want an update, then we need to talk about that. I requested it online and I've emailed individually. Nothing. I had an email from you a little while ago. I then saw that it had been reopened. I assume that officer would then be in contact Nothing. with you. I can't, I'm not a PA. I don't have a PA. I don't have anyone that helps me. If it's just me, I can't. Physically, like you see me down the school, you want me. People want me down the school. People then want me. I don't follow schools. I know you're people not. Then, you're doing the school one, people, which is why I respect. I know, but, I don't know, fuck you. That's my own children. Exactly. But, like, but also, I'm down there trying to sort out the parking. I'm then here <laughs> trying to sort out the yeah. town. I'm then at Munsey trying to be in Gold Park. I can't physically do everything. I only have eight hours in a day. Know. I'm not going to give up my time with my children yeah. to go. I do try and go above and beyond. And people approach me in Lidl's. People approach me yeah. every time in town. I can't walk through town on my day off without someone talking to me about work. I get it, but at the same time, I have to prioritise like my personal and my own life. My children are also on some holidays. I can't then spend more time at work trying to sort out things. I have an ever increasing list, and when I'm away for the weekend, not away like in Norwich for the weekend, I can't get through that list because I only have my phone. I haven't got a computer. I haven't got access to the full systems. We have like a like an app-based system on our phone, so it's really difficult to then try and find phone numbers and try and work out what's happening and if there's no update to give if I don't know what's happening there's no point passing you an update to say I've got no update and that's the frustration I understand your feelings but drop them an email and go yeah. sorry you got an update yeah but I is it's, it's, okay, it's, it's my not, assumption that the police, officer who has got that crime that I have my own that. victims that I have to update it was my assumption that the officer that had that crime would have been in contact I wasn't aware that he hasn't sure. I will now chase that up that'll be on the list of things to do and, and I'll get you an update See, that's the thing, we don't always know that it's been passed on and how long, but yeah. that person then, obviously, as you can now tell, yeah. hasn't acknowledged us or yeah. passed on that they're now yeah, taking over. away until the 14th, possibly. So, but I don't know when he went away, and so, I don't know. And we also have training courses, and it's just a minefield. But yeah, Richard, sorry, you've got your hand. Yeah, the points that have been raised about homophobic crime, about anything like this, the new Police and Crime Commission is starting a consultation in September. Now, this is the woman who's in charge of all the resources for Norfolk Police. And she wants to do a public consultation. Now, that is your opportunity to get the points in um, and get them to her, because she is the person who has the budget. The Chief Constable is responsible for the operational side, but this is the woman who's got the budget. And she's brand new. So she's got no experience. Um, she's never done the job before. And it's your opportunity to get issues in. Mm. Um, certainly homophobia certainly should be a priority because that's just unacceptable. Um, but all of the issues that we're talking about, the allocation of enough, enough police resources, she should be pushing the Home Office for an allocation for more money. Mm. Um, police have quite rightly just got a pay rise. I'm really pleased for you. Where's that money going to come from? We pay, well, we pay the majority. The majority of the precept comes from ratepayers. The other section comes from the home office. But this woman's in a position to start arguing, and she's new. There's a new government, a good home secretary, and it's an opportunity when she comes around to actually, mm. like you're visiting here and making a point, make those points to her, because if she doesn't hear them. She doesn't know about them. But can you get that? She's out? she's the one that, that uh, she's the one that can affect change. No, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a county I level. Would be happy to when and where is what we want to know. So when and where. Yeah, really that will be that will be publicised. That will be publicised. It's on the police and crime commissioner's website. She started in September. I've raised an issue with her already, but um. She's going to come around. She's going to go. Now she has the whole county. She will probably come to one of these meetings. I think yeah. in September well, she's going well, we'll to Cromers so. or yeah. uh, Holtz. I think so. She will start to come out and and be here as a point of contact as well. So I think the more it's out there, the more yeah. people are aware. We'll get more people yeah. that will yeah. come and give yeah. their points, and then she. I may think they do try and. Like, this is the, amount, the most amount of people I've ever seen at a snap meeting. But we've had snap meetings every three months for. Yeah. I've been here since twenty twenty. And it's always been advertised, and I don't know whether people just are missing it or just don't. I don't know. Don't know. Like, it's always on the, the, it's always 
on the Facebook page. Okay, I am your That was an administrative issue. No, it was Claire. We we always I use the scalp. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's, it's, like it's not an excuse. We always have the scalp. I was walking around with a portion for our now. I can't yeah, find I was on duty. Scalp. I know. We did put it on our Facebook, and I shared yeah. it. So that, so that was an My issue. Facebook. We used to have it at the scalp hut. I think predominantly now we're going to have it here, yeah. as long as the Phoenix group are happy to have us here. We'll need a bigger um, room. <laughs> but that was just one of those things we double booked and we weren't aware that we double booked and it was trying to scrabble around yeah, to try and work out. But we don't want to host it. It's a license premises. It's a thing. No, it was booked. It was a It was never booked. Joe, we've never booked. I think someone else booked it trying to be helpful, but there was. Oh, yeah, we. Alex and I. Ultimately, it's Alex and I, and Alex and I had never booked it. We'd spoken to Wendy about the new town council building. And that wasn't ready to go either. And then, thankfully, Lucy said we could use this space. Um, we'd never booked the Black Swan. Never so you would in. never come into the theatre, into our community. Oh, I've been into the theatre. I was enjoying the theatre. I came into the house thing that you had in the theatre. No, you because it's a, it's a it's licensed premises. So it's the, that side of it. We wouldn't have it in a licensed premises. Yeah, we're not going to hold parish council meetings in a licensed premises. So we're not going to hold a so priority no setting meeting. No. No. This is a this is a perfectly fine space. If this isn't well, if, if for whatever reason, we will find another space. But it has to be somewhere that we can't have access to. You can't just have it in a pub. I can't. Oh, it's not a pub. Oh, a theatre. Like theatre. It's a well, I love the theatre. Yeah, and yeah. maybe tea and coffee can be offered as well. Do you know what I mean? And make okay. it. Because the seats are damn sight better comfortable than these ones. What do you want? Okay. A bloody table, aren't they? Nice <laughs> stool. I sometimes I feel like whatever I say, you're not. It's <laughs> well, not going to well, be enough. You jumped on so me the minute I came in. You were down my throat, so you'd already. I wasn't down, down your throat. I was just making everyone aware that you. Anyway, anyway, you anyway, 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 then no. anyone have else? You, have you changed the timings? Because I thought this was half past six mm. for it's the panel six, yeah. and seven, seven o'clock for the public. There's a lot more public. There was, than uh, yeah, we, we've done it the other way around, right, okay. and it's just there's too many people to. I know, what did you do? You bribe them? I don't know. Let them wait you will tell <laughs> Alex next time. She will be here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make sure you're for her? Is it? Um, you advertise the entries in the Times? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't. They're all on social. They're on our web. We have our own North Norfolk um, Facebook page. They're, they're, they're on the that. Time. Wendy yeah. shares it on the Town Council page. Lucy often times. shares it on her page. And I think you even shared it on the Phoenix page. We'll put it into the time. Um, also, we'll just so where this building is, because that's why we were late, because we didn't have a clue about this. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, if we can get it in the time, I'll, so that's, I'll, I'll that's, that's yeah. fine. It, it, it's been it's been a bit of a work because obviously during COVID it was all online. Yeah. We did online meetings and it, I just sent out a link. Online, no, and now a lot of people are doing hybrid meetings, but I don't mm -hmm. think that works for us. And it didn't work in the scalp hub. You can't you can't engage with people online and in person. It doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't work. So this has been a kind of yeah. Hopefully we've got to set up this space. Every three months, then this would be the ideal space. Yeah. And if anyone wants to bring biscuits and tea, by all means, I would love one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 We, I, we, can, we can feed that back to the inspector and see if there's any room in the budget to, to provide such things. That will be coming out of your precept, though, so just so you're. Yeah, it's um, Is there any other. So, so we've got the speeding on New Road. We've got the issues in the community that you're talking about. We've got the updates that you're talking about. Speeding on Brick Hill, um, Gold Park. Is there anything else that anyone wants to bring North up Bush in this? Trunch. Yeah. The, the accident at the top which was quite serious. Yeah, that's all in hand. That's one of my jobs. I know. Um, he will be arrested at some point when I Excellent. can locate him. Um, um, could be a ring. Thank you. <laughs> and, <laughs> And I will try and go and support the speed watch. It just hasn't, it's just been mad. So um, I did ask uh, Shami um, for the date. So if you can just give me a list of sure. the next month, then as soon as I can um, put you in the diary, then I'll head out to you. Be realistic. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I can get out to you. But yeah, that's very much in hand. I've got CCTV, everything. It's linked to another job. There's a bit more to it than just that oh. bit. So um, but yeah, that's one of mine. So um, it will be coming in shortly, hopefully. Um, any other issues? 
and there was a, there was vandalism in Black Swan Lake Garden, or some graffiti and things down the alleyway. So yeah, and we went and got a new camera to go on there because it wasn't covered by cameras at the time. Because we were. I did try and it. phone you the other day, and you were busy. That was about that about because that, yeah. um, so my colleague Pete McGee had he been in contact yeah, with you, yeah. so that was one of his crimes. And he'd asked me to review the CCTV, the town council CCTV. Um, he couldn't. He he gave me a twelve hour window. So I said, I'm not, I can't. Yeah, yeah I, I got the thing saying we can narrow it down. Yeah, they couldn't find anything for it. So after that vandalism happened, we put a camera up in the garden, so there was one covering it. Yeah. And literally the day after, the council installed one. Like, so now it's yeah, got two cameras town on. Town. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, the town council. Sorry. Yeah, so literally the day after. So now we've got the two on there, but ours covers more of the alleyway now. Yeah. And that one covers the garden quite nicely. So uh, literally the day after, um, that, yeah. that new one was fitted as well, but we yeah. put that up because there was no evidence of, of it in that no. bit. So no, it's just. Yeah, yeah. Well, I to get a few things done at the same time, so yeah. quite quickly, I think. Yeah. yeah. And touch with graffiti is not... You said it now. Uh, so, um, yeah, um, yeah. 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 yeah, But we are, there is a project, isn't there? We're talking about I'm hoping to the skate park, and if you know people that are interested in graffiti or yeah. art or have any artistic Just background, about works. working with the, um, the high school as well to um, put some murals around the town. Oh, um, yeah, so yeah, we we talked about that. I talked to Claire. Yeah, we talked about that kind of last year, um, and hopefully, I've spoken to Mr. Fitz at the school. He's going to try and approach some of the um, year ten and eleven art students and get them on board, and any of the young people that want to kind of help out really and try and. I think the thing is, if you if you make these works. These young people are accountable for their own works. They'll kind of police yeah. themselves. They yeah. won't allow them to be vandalised. They have an area to do it. Kind of bringing them, yeah, bringing them in and making them responsible for it themselves. Um, just so that they can, you know, take pride in you know what they've done. So I think that'll be that'll be a project for the future. Yeah. Touch wood. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. So like I say, if you have any further questions, if there's anything you want to talk about outside of this forum, anything you want to talk to privately, if if Laura's here now, if you want to just speak to her and she can take the details maybe in that little side office yeah, very quickly. If not, my full contact details and Alex's full contact details are on the website. If you just Google the Horsham Safe Neighbourhood Team, they'll probably do it. Now, my mobile number is on there, um, and our email address is on there, um, and probably an office extension as well. I'd say always mobile is probably easiest, um, and sometimes text is just easiest. Text me, and then at least I can just keep an eye on it and give you a call back. And, and also the Office of the Police Crime Commissioner, look up their website and comment on there and Absolutely. email them as well, because, you know, it can't be all on Emma. I have, no, I, I have no, I cannot change anything. I know you can't. The Police Crime can't. Commissioner has the ability to listen to what you're saying and try and implement it. I can only <coughs> deal with things on a local level that you are finding an issue within our community and try and tackle those. Um, but, yeah, if you want bigger change, you need to be going to her and saying that, this is where our money's going to. What are you doing about this, this, and this? And she's the person that you can, can speak to. So, yeah, September, I think she's up and running. And she'll be. And hopefully she'll come along to one of these meetings. I know Giles, when he was um, in that office, we had a um, he did a pop-up event at the library so yes. people could pop up and speak to him at the library. So whether she'll do similar. We can invite him here. Yeah, we can invite him. Thank you. 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 I'm <laughs> 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 
Because, <laughs> because of him. Just tell us what it is. She's possibly, she's possibly in the car park. I don't like that, Mum. What Hang he on. said to you. Hang on. I'm not against 